ordered my new printer and it was supposed to arrive on Wednesday it got here a day early this is the FL Sun QQS Pro we're going to get it open get it set up and see what we got okay initial impressions on getting the box open it seems to be reasonably well packaged got a piece of uh, eighth inch plywood on the top covering everything up to help protect things I can't find my tripod so I'm gonna have to do this in pieces and patch it together as I go after the first layer of is off and the bag is open we got parts revealed start pulling them out and set them on the table okay with everything out of the box the base is nearly completely is completely assembled we got the linear rods here the top the extruder a couple of brackets in here oh, that's the spool holder That's the bed leveling sensor, power cord, 200 grams of filament, PLA, bag of hardware and tools, SD card, USB SD card reader, some zip ties, nitrile gloves, and a cord in there for something an extra hot end I saw in one video that yep looks like there's an extra thermistor in there and a heating element so everything that everybody else has said that they got looks like I got as well including the manual so let's start putting it together now the belts come with these little uh, nylon wraps to hold them in place during shipping so that things don't move around a whole lot those have to come off in order to attach the pulleys up to the top end then the pulleys are held up with thumb screws so you can adjust the belt tension the hole goes all the way through You can adjust the tension to where you think it needs to be. I'm just snugging it down right now. The end stops, three of them are all in the top of the printer. They go down and plug in down below. The extruder can only mount one way try to mount it another way you'll have no luck at all it says it's a Titan extruder uh, according to what I've heard from other people that's what it is got the flip lever comes up through a hole two screws mount to the bracket on the extruder you plug the PTF e tube into the extruder going down to the hot end and the wire is a multi-pin connector mounts through the top okay here's a gotcha I didn't catch the instructions didn't say it the side panels have to go inside the top and the bottom so if you tighten up the screws on the linear rods before putting the side panels on you're gonna have to take them loose again also have to take the nut completely off the pulley screw in order to get the top high enough to slide in the side plates and now with the side panels installed the pulleys reattached belts retightened it should be ready to power on according to the instructions 
There's another caveat for you. You have to take the bottom off of the case in order to get to the power supply to check it to see what voltage it's set at. In this case, I'm set to 230 right now and I need 110. So, if you haven't, in my case, trying to take the screws off the bottom, rounded out the wrench that they sent, the 2.5 millimeter. Fortunately, I have a, steady, a good stock of Allen wrenches to get the case apart. Looking at the board here, looks like it's uh, what they said it was. I forget what they said. It does have an ESP in it, so it's got Wi-Fi capability. So we'll have to check that one out. The motors have belt guides, 3D printed, on them. But the carriages for the linear bushings are look like they're injection molded. As well as the top and bottom brackets. So we're going to get the power set, put the bottom back on, and fire it up. All right, I just encountered my first problem here. I uh, went to run the auto level on it, and one of the motors is n not reading the end stop for some reason. Going to have to take a look at that. As it turns out, one of the wires, so I can get it here, for the end stop was trapped underneath the lever for the switch so the switch couldn't be pressed. I got the wire pulled out straighten it out a little bit. Now let's see what happens. On a side note, the leveling sensor doesn't look as magnetic, but it takes a little bit of jimmying to get it seated properly on its mount. The sensor is removable once it's been leveled. Okay, we're starting the auto leveling now. Goes all the way down, back up, changes its position. It looks like it starts with the three points at the carriages.
Auto leveling seems to be a fairly complex procedure as it builds its mesh. and took about four and a half minutes to do the auto level. Now, after auto leveling, the manual says to adjust the Z offset.